Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today, we're doing Tryhard Thursday. I'm starting off with Poseidon. Um, I'm going to go Bancroft because I think Bancroft is amazing. Do we think he's going to invade me? This is a big question here. Probably not, right? Probably not. Maybe he will. Maybe I'll just go beads. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All I know is that this Torment guy is not only accused of hacking, but he also made three separate accounts to my Twitch channel, calling me a bitch and a soy boy and uh, saying that I suck. So, and he spam laughs me. So this is, uh, this is pretty crazy. This Torment guy. He's definitely, he's definitely a fan for sure. 100% a fan. He loves me and wants to be my friend. That's the only reasoning he would pull something like this. Or, or he just really wants the attention. Have Either way, I'm getting blue buff. Um, I want to say I am doing coaching. I missed that auto. I could have lost the blue because of that. Hello. So oh, thank you. Okay. I hope it's worth it. I hope your aggressive, insane, what cringe is the win strat. For that match up? The win con? Uh, just be better. That's what it is. Just be better is my win con. Yeah, so this guy really, really hates me. I, I'm not exactly sure, like... I don't remember fucking his mom, but apparently I did. Alright, perfect. Perfect, good stuff. You know what? I'll actually clear the wave. Alright. Yeah, anyways, I did want to say I'm doing coaching again. I uh, said this, I think, in last week's Try Hard Thursday that I was opening up coaching to just a couple of people and not a lot of people actually reached out to me, so I'm saying it one more time. I still have a couple of slots open, like time slots open, where I'm willing to pick up uh, clients to coach and I'm doing Smite 1 or Smite 2. If you want some coaching, you can hit me up on Discord or Twitter. I will put the links to both in a pinned comment. So it's going to be very easy for you guys to find. I could die here, maybe. Ouch. Nope, I'm chilling, actually. Nice. Nice. There's his Yoans. There's his, his alt. This is Relic. He's pretty low on mana, too. Ouch. Perfect. I was waiting for him to use too much mana. I was waiting for him to use too much mana to where he could he thinks he could kill me. And when he used his one, I knew he couldn't jump. He had to pick one or the other. And he picked incorrectly. I think I will go... Actually, I'm going to go breastplate. I'm going to play it safe. I was going to say I will just go straight into Typhons, but... Yeah. So he got round shield from his passive, I assume. Hello. Jump. You ran the wrong way. Well, I'm pretty sure that I just get the red buff now.
I think unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately I can't get his blue, but... He is tanky. Okay with this. Wow, what was that? Oh, I just missed all my autos. I just missed all of my... Also... Thorns did 200 to me, and I don't even think I hit him when he had Thorns active. That was a little bit absurd. Look how tanky he is, bro. Look at his damage to me, and then look at my damage to him. He's just so tanky. Pestilence is such an insane item. I think magic defense items are, like, so fucking good. I mean, I've said this a bunch of times in, like, very recent videos, so I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about it, but... I think if you pick a mage, then you're probably going to lose your duel. I think mages are like really, really bad in duel. Because look, compare the, the items, right? I get 500 physical defense with no health. He gets 70 magical defense with 200 health. And HP 5 attached to it. It's not even close to similar. Did I say 500 health? I meant 200 health. He gets 200 health and 70 protections. And I get 50 physical protections. And that's it. No HP. And I'm pretty sure they're the same price. Or I think, I think actually Pestilence is a little bit more expensive. 20% cooldown? That's true. You do get 20% cooldown. But they get 55% anti-heal for your 20% cooldown. So, again, I feel like the stat comparison really is... It's insane. I didn't know that I could whiff my Kraken because he's, like, using his two. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't do very much damage. Perfect. This is thorns down. All right, we'll grab the blue. Then we'll go grab the red. He has to back, so I'm pretty safe to do this, I think. Nice. All right. We go back now. We get our Typhons finished. It's going to give us a lot of pen. Uh, our second Relic. I don't know what I want yet. Obviously, I think Beads is very good. But I, I also think that Aegis is going to be really, really good. The multitasking clear was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's insane that he's able to get away from that, to be honest. Like a full combo with auto attacks and everything and the one. And he just like walks away from it. I literally cannot move. I literally can't move. That's so annoying. Um, when I have to go divine, right? 
I guess. Caught the tech. I mean, that's like... That's just what Gilgamesh does. That's just how you Gilgamesh on. Is it really tech if it's what you're supposed to do? It's like when you jump on someone with honor and then pillar them to the wall. Is it really tech? Or is it just how you're supposed to play the game? I mean, I can't really do anything with it, unfortunately, but at least it alleviates pressure, maybe. I really want this blue, but I don't, or this red, but I don't think it'll spawn in time. Well, it did. All right. I really feel like I should go Gem of Iso and Fatalis after I get my Divine. And just run in circles. I feel like that's that's insanely annoying for him. I think I go hasten first and then I go gem second. He's going into more defense right now. He's going double defense. I'm actually thinking now that I'm thinking like maybe I don't go gem. Maybe I just go like more percentage pen, right? Uh, I'm just going to run. That's all right. I get tower here though. So he just traded rock for tower and I have bull demon open. Getting tower is worth it though. Uh, actually, what does that give me? What upgrade does this give? 25 more health. 10% attack speed, five pen. And this is definitely better, right? This is definitely like more cost effective than that upgrade right now. I think. Cause this gives me, I have eight stacks. This gives me 14% attack speed. And 14 basic power. Doesn't give me any pen, but... For now, it's okay. Why now we just go grab this? That tower would not die. Yeah, that tower was tanky, bro. The tower was doing it. I'm just dead. Holy shit. Ow, man. How does he do that much damage? I guess I only have 1600 health, to be fair. I don't know. Sperm would have been good. Eh... I don't know. I'm just dying to his relics, to be honest. I feel like he's just hiding around a corner to jump on me again.
Can he own Bull Demon quick? Oh. Bro, like, what is that? How is he able to? How is he able to just tank all my shit like that? Eight auto attacks too? That's insane. I don't get it. I actually don't understand it. He just does that much damage? He's five items and two of them are pure defense items. And yet he outbursts me with Kraken and Pen. How is that possible? I don't know. Um, and I gives pen. No. No, it does not. malice in this kid's play like i said i don't know i don't know what i did to him i don't know like when i had sex with his mom but i think like genuinely i must have wronged this guy in another life like i must have made him angry in a different life because he is so mad at me the way he plays And, uh, you know, also the fact that he made multiple Twitch accounts to call me a bitch and a loser and then spam laughs me all game. All right, beats down. Nice. Oh, and I got the blue. Even better. Nice. And I win. I win! And then we can simply win because we are Poseidon with Hasten, so I can create this Titan without ever getting hit by it. And GG. And I'm not going to spam laugh because spam laughing is cringe. And even though he hates me and he puts me down and spam laughs and disrespects me, makes other accounts, whatever, I don't need to stoop that low. I'm just chilling. Welcome back to game two fighting a chalk chalk is uh 
Chalk is good against this character. Also, you know what's funny? You know how I know this guy's literally sitting in stream sniping me? Is because I let a Q pop. Like, I sat there, and I let a Q pop. And then after the Q popped, I waited until the last second and clicked decline. And then he declined his and then sniped me the game after. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Check that series out. Dark Anthology. Oh, so YouTube, I was talking about what I what is like the scariest game because you know it's October, it's spooky season. What's the scariest game you've ever played? Leave a comment down below. Um, my personal scariest game, I was saying, was Resident Evil Seven, because Resident Evil Seven has everything that I think needs to be in a game for it to be considered scary. It has boss fights. It has, um, oh, I got that. Nice. It has boss fights. It has chasing scenes. It's got an in incredible ambiance. And it also has, um, like really, really good graphics. Cause I think for me personally, I think graphics play a huge role in if a game is scary or not, because if something looks comical, no matter what the aura of of that said thing is, uh, it's going to feel comical to me. And I know that I, I might be in the minority here because I know a lot of people like, you know, 8-bit graphic game or top-down graphic games or stuff like that. But, um, like, when it comes to horror games. But I, I don't know. I really just, I need good graphics in a horror game. Which it does feel weird to say because, like, I feel like I don't require good graphics in any other game that I play. But if the game visually backs up the spookiness, then sign me up, bro. Sign me up. And also, I do want to say this, like Silent Hill 2, I think the original, like Silent Hill 1, Silent Hill 2 originally were probably fantastic games. And they were definitely innovative of the entire horror game genre. Um, like they changed the game basically. However, what I will say is if you, if you guys are living under rock and you don't know Silent Hill 2 remake came out recently and the remake, I'm just going to say it how it is, is really bad. I, I played that entire game. I never, and this is coming from someone who's never played the original. So I don't have that kind of, um, it's not sympathetic. What is it called? Like reminiscent yeah, like of something. I forget the name of it. But I don't have that kind of feeling when it comes to Silent Hill of oh nostalgia. Nostalgia. I don't, I'm not nostalgic about it. So I judge, you know, I'm judging Silent Hill 2 based off of the remake and nothing more. Which, you know, because it was remade, obviously it's fair to judge it off of the remake. But I still feel a little bit bad doing it. You know what I mean? Well, oh, why did he wait so long to alt? Why did he wait so long to alt? That was a weird one. Yo, dark. Not even. No, that's actually true. Bro, Soma was a really, really good game back in the day. Soma, I played that game right when it launched. And that, before, like, between the time of Soma and Resident Evil 7, which I believe was like five or six years, I actually think, I actually think that Soma was the scariest game for me. Between those years. And I do think Outlast is scary, by the way. I'm not, like, like belittling Outlast by any sense of the word, but... It does not feel as good at all as like these other games that I'm talking about. That was a really good aim, by the way. 
That was really good aim I had there. I'm going to alt for this red buff here. I don't know if this is worth ever doing. I could even just alt this blue, to be honest. Alright, that's actually really good for me. That's actually really good for me. Not only did we get his alt... We also got his wing shard. We got his blue buff and we're going to get the red buff. Very, very nice. I do need to back though. I kind of want to go berserkers for the attack speed. And it's going to seem weird because you're like, why would you go attack speed on Apollo when you already have like your passive that's kind of carrying you? Uh, and the, my reasoning is because I want to go silver branch this game. I think Silver Branch could give me a lot of, like, opening for damage. Might as well pick up the blue. Your middle tower is under attack. And I'm going to be maxing my two second here because my two gives me uh, defenses, which, you know, I don't need to tell you is a very good thing to, to have. I'm just going to horrific him and do some damage here. Okay. Is he actually backing? I I still got all my parts. He did actually back. Wow. All right. Cool. I'll just clear this wave then. I was down to take that fight, but he did not want it. He did not want it. So I think my plan of attack here is I'm going to go Xy and then I'm going to go Berserkers and then I think I'm going to like I could go Crimson or I could go Aussie. They're both good, but I just need some sustain. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. E Crowley not donated $20. Me... One... Sorry, I got to mute that. Thank you so much. I will read that dono after this game. Oh. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna kill the wave. I don't I don't think I should die here, do I? Nice. You know, I wasn't going to go for the fight there because I thought going for the fight there was kind of troll. But, uh, I don't know. He just ignored me and went for the wave. I don't know why he did that. Let's go. Good kill. Probably not. Thank you so much for the $20, bro. I will, uh, I will play that Guan Yu game for you after this. Well, after my recording. Vital Amplifier, Berserker Shield, or Shoguns. Itch of all... And Venom XE, Haste of Fatalis, Duality, Fire Blink, Horrific. Uh, why Vital? Vital is bad. On Guan. His cooldowns are fast enough for it to be good. Unless I'm missing something, which I very well could be, actually. Keeping stream open while doing it is shameful. Uh, keeping stream open while... Like, watching the game while playing against me, it's not only shameful, it's literally against the terms of service of both high res like Smite, and Twitch. But because it's so hard to prove, technically, 
Uh, almost no one gets banned for it. I mean, it'd be probably it'd be really easy for me to prove it with him, to be honest. But ouch! How the fuck? Okay, whatever. You can have that, I guess. Let's throw your axe at me. Hmm. Wonder if I could kill him. This is horrific. Oh, how the fuck? How did... I guess... I guess it's his passive, right? He gets his passive up, doesn't he? Okay, um... I need percent pen, because Jesus Christ, he's tanky. Or... Or I just need anti-heal, actually. Do we go anti-heal into Silver Branch? Itch roll might be good too, actually. I think we could go itch of all. I still have no sustain though. I don't like having no healing. I guess it doesn't matter too, too much, right? And that's good damage. The problem is just that I have no sustain, man. Nice, we get the red buff. That feels good. There's no way he's actually backing here, because then I get the tower. Wait, really? Okay, that's a misplay. That's a gigantic misplay backing here. I guess he just assumed I wasn't going to push the tower. I don't know why you would assume that, though. I think I might be able to kill him here. Oh, okay, never mind. Do you think I can do this, though? Nice! Alright. Sounds fine to me. Sounds fine to me. He's getting those XP camps. I'm just going to push. Mm. Damn. There's the spam laughs. There's the spam laughs. There it is. Um, all right. I don't know what, like, Kins won't do too much. Silver Branch is obviously good. I kind of built my whole build around it, so we can pick up Silver Branch. And then do I just go Hastened here? I feel like Hastened would just go really hard. Yeah. And then I go Beads for his ult. He got a Beat Stick, but I literally don't have any healing. Frostbound? Oh, uh, I can't have Frostbound.
face in. And this, this. You got a 500 pot. He wants to cook me. I think red buff is up. It was up, but he didn't go for it. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder why he's playing so defensive here. Wouldn't Kins be nice, though, because of his mitigation? I mean, he doesn't have a lot of HP, though. why he ran past me to go clear wave that doesn't make sense that doesn't make any sense can i open the itch of all tree yeah dude actually i should go get a 500 pot here Yeah, it's really easy for me as a Silver Branch user who has an extra 30 protections on his two to backdoor. He's going double defense here. I don't have a lot of pen. But double defense is not a bad move at all. Look at this Titan get owned, dude. Look at this Titan get owned. Mm. Yeah, and then I just win the game here. Nice. GG again! Not bad. Not bad. Once I got that ace in, he really couldn't play against me. I was just able to keep my distance so well. Nice. See you in game three. What's up, homies? Welcome back, game three. I'm playing Bastet. I'm going to do this skin. Because I never use this skin. Running a Master's Border Aphrodite? The holy Jesus! Look how many stars that person has. The forest speaks to me. Oh my I god. That's insane. That's an insane amount of stars. That's an incredible amount of stars. That's an insane amount of stars. There's 21 of them just on the top row. Oh, whoa. Really? <laughs> That's nuts. That's crazy. Why do you only face one god players? Uh, because those are the only people that play duel. They just like pick one god and then play thousands of matches of duel with that, that one god. I don't know why. So obviously Aphrodite really needs the blue, so I'm going to try to steal it. You can go for anything. Hello. Over. 
Ooh, we got his meditation there. How much pots does he have? He doesn't have a lot of pots, but... That's alright. Oh, by the way, this guy doesn't like me either. Uh, I think it's because I beat him a bunch and he got mad at me. Uh, and then he came to stream and like insulted me and then I banned him and now he holds a grudge. There's a lot of people where I'll like beat them and then they'll just hate me for some reason. I mean, it, it is dual, I guess. It's, it's to be expected. Hello. I mean, you do not win this. You do not win this. I don't know why you decided to fight that. Maybe you felt like you would win it, but it was not close. Nor do I believe it should have ever been close. I'm just going to back. Go back. I'm going to get Soul Eater so I can start stacking that up. Boom, 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 boom. And then I guess I'll just do blue. I don't know why, but from a distance, I thought you were Naja and a silver or white new skin. That is criminal of you to say. You get to go Pestilence this game? You're actually so right. I get to go the best offensive item in the game against the mage. That makes me happy. Hello. Uh, you don't win this. Right, that should clear. Just gonna go back. Okay. You asked for this. You want to kill me? Not up then. He instantly popped horrific, bro. He's so scared. Wait, the minions. Come back. The minions. Bro, I don't know why. Every, every person I fight in duel, I swear to God, all they do is just spam laugh me. And play hyper aggressive because they see my name and hope I die. Like in real life. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. People are so mad at me and I, I feel like I don't do anything. I feel like all I do is queue up duel games. And that's it. I That was really well played by me. Um, I probably should have gone like Jotuns or something. Yoans probably would have been better. I need to slow clear these. The good news is once I get my soul leader, I don't really understand how I could die. Can I kill you? Oh, probably not. Oh, I am so dead. Oh no, I'm alive. Wow, I lived. That's impressive. Um, all right, he's gonna get the red buff, but I'm just gonna get double blue. I'm going to get double blue and I'm going to go Pestilence here. What happened to Gab? Uh, Kid Lou timed him out for 10 minutes. Which, by the way, Kid, you can you can untime him out. I'm pretty sure that was just a joke.
Uh, I still don't have, uh... I still don't have my Soul Eater finished yet, which is kind of annoying. He's just spam taunting me. He's just following me around, taunting me. Fine. I can't kill him yet, but soon. I think I might be dead here, to be honest. Wait, did that stop my cat from going out? He tooed me at the same time as I hit my cat, and it just stopped it from getting out. That's crazy. I didn't know he could do that. Alright, well, once I get Jotun's, I'll have good cooldown. And then I can get a Beat Stick, which will just cap out the anti-heal, obviously. His meditation, so he's really doubling down on that. That, like, healing. So, I'll be fine. Just gonna take a while to get there, you know? Is this a double defense game? I don't think it has to be, no. I don't think it has to be. I like to not go double defense unless I really feel like I need to. I don't really feel like I need to this game. How much is Jotun's? 1650, my lord, that's a lot. All right. He's definitely going to get this. Because I can't really stop him from getting over here. Never mind. Uh, I mean, I might as well get his ult here, I guess. Nice. And then, I mean, I assume I can't actually get this. Oh, I missed it. I missed the two on him. If I hit him with the two, I could have killed him there, but I whiffed. I whiffed. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'm really not that scared. You know, he, like, Aphrodite is realistically supposed to be, like, pretty good in the late game. But can she really compete with double anti-heal Bastet? I find it really hard to believe that she can. Now blue's not up. Right. That is good for me. And then on top of that, I can just get your blue buff for free. And I can hop back over the wall. Get your ult. I think especially once I get, like, Beat Stick or something, he almost never has a chance, does he?
I could also go like MP5. this i do feel like my second relic i want is a horrific if uh if he doesn't go sprint here but we'll see what he ends up going see can i get this in time Man, hello. Okay. That is, honest to God, pretty good for me. I got the red, and I got his ult. All that healing. All right. Ow. Why is he like this, bro? Alright, nice. I killed myself. I don't know why I did that. Oh, never mind. I'm the best. I lived. Nice. I do feel like I need some MP5. Like, Heart Seeker's not going to go that hard because he doesn't have a lot of HP. But I do have a lot of power, so it'll do something at least. It'll do something. He actually fully upgraded his med for the cooldown. Nice. Nice. So he fully upgraded his med for the cooldown, but he, he still dies in an all-in battle. Which means all I all I have to do as the Bastet is make sure that I I'm just like hyper aggressive. Which is what I've been doing pretty much this whole game, you know? Like he thought he could mess around and just like kind of push me around by being the annoying like I'm gonna poke you and then and then stop your back type plays, but that's not gonna work against Bastet. It just won't. Um, I feel like I want to go Crusher. I won't have a lot of percentage pen, but I'll have 20, I'll have 20 percent pen, which is enough. And I'll have double life steal with a bunch of proc items. I'm 
surprised that he's just giving me the rock. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it feels like a big deal. Is serrated an option here? Yeah, for sure. Serrated is always an option. Okay. He's got a ward on me. Ow. I took so much damage there. Oh, that is crazy. That is crazy that I died there because I couldn't get I couldn't get the close enough range for the auto. Criminal. So this effect reaches a maximum of six percent of their health when you have two hundred and fifty physical power. I don't have two hundred and fifty. I only have two hundred and fifteen, which is a little upsetting. Um, I will go horrific, actually. It's kind of nuts to think that I have, like, very high power items and I only have 200 power. So he did kill me there, but in order to kill me, he did have to use everything he had. Which does bode well for me. Because I took a ton of damage from Bull Demon while I was on a ward. And he had to use, like, everything he had. Oh my god, look at that damage, bro. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Dude, late game Bastet is just too much to deal with. Late game Bastet is just too much to deal with. My Heart Seeker did 174. My Crusher did 100 by itself. And that is game. Three games, three spam laughers, three people I have blocked and three people that have shit-talked me in chat and gotten banned. That is crazy. That is crazy. Laugh at him? I'm not going to laugh at him. You got to pay me a lot of money to be mean to, the, to someone like that. <laughs> you got to pay me a lot of money for that. But yeah. GG. Three dubs? Yes, three dubs. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.